the last quantity that we need to discuss in our definitions of motion is acceleration. Uh, acceleration is any change in velocity. Okay, so anytime you have a change in velocity, then you have an acceleration. Notice that that's a little bit different than how we use the word acceleration in everyday language. Usually we use the word acceleration to mean speeding up only. But uh, the official physics definition of acceleration is any change in velocity. So even if you're slowing down, then you're accelerating according to the physics definition. Or uh, for that matter, since velocity is a vector, even changing direction uh, is an acceleration according to the physics definition of it. Uh, you're probably familiar with acceleration in things like car commercials where uh, if you have a car where they say that the car is able to go from 0 to 60 in say 4 seconds, then what they're telling you is the acceleration of that car. Let's find the acceleration of this car using the definition of acceleration. Uh, we would have v2 minus v1 over uh, the change in time. v2 would be 60 miles an hour. v1 is 0. And the time is 4 seconds. So the acceleration of this particular car would be 15 miles per hour per second. What does that mean? Well, it means that <clears throat> yeah, it means that every second that goes by, the car's speed increases by 15 miles per hour. So after two seconds, it would be going 30 miles an hour. After three seconds, 45 miles an hour, and after 4 seconds, 15 miles an hour, or 60 miles an hour. Uh, if you're doing your homework, then it's quite likely that you would be asked to find the acceleration not in miles per hour per second, but instead in meters per second squared. So let's convert this 15 miles an hour to meters per second squared. Uh, what we would need to do, let's rewrite the 15 miles per hour. Let's rewrite that as miles per hour per second. Okay. Then we need to convert from hours to seconds. So one hour is 3,000. 600 seconds, and we need to convert from miles to meters. We have 1,000 meters is equal to 0.62 miles. By the way, you don't have to have that conversion factor memorized. If you needed that on an exam, I would give it to you. Okay, now we have miles canceling miles, hours canceling hours. Uh, when we multiply all of these numbers together, we get 6.7, and the units will be meters right here, seconds, and seconds in the denominator, so that's meters per second squared. That means that every second that goes by, our car's speed increases by 6.7 meters per second.